a masterpiece that became a nightmare. The Cadillac North Star V8 debuted in 1993 as America's answer to the sophisticated European luxury engines from BMW and Mercedes-Benz. With dual overhead cams, 32 valves, and all aluminum construction, it was the most technologically advanced power plant General Motors had ever produced. For three consecutive years, 1995, 1996, and 1997, Ward's Auto World named it one of the 10 best engines in North America. Automotive journalists praised its refinement, power delivery, and cutting-edge features. Cadillac finally had an engine worthy of competing with the world's finest luxury cars. But then something went horribly wrong. By the early 2000s, the North Star had earned a reputation so toxic that many potential buyers wouldn't even consider a Cadillac equipped with one. Mechanics developed an almost instinctive fear of these engines, and used car values plummeted the moment head gasket failure became inevitable. How did an engineering triumph become an automotive cautionary tale? The answer reveals the fine line between innovation and disaster, historical context and development. The North Star's genesis traces back to 1984, when Oldsmobile's research and development team began sketching what would become General Motors' most ambitious engine project. Cadillac was in crisis. Their aluminum HT 4100 V8 had been an unmitigated disaster, and European competitors were introducing sophisticated dual overhead cam engines that made American offerings look primitive. The luxury market was evolving rapidly. Lexus had arrived with whisper-quiet V8s that redefined refinement. BMW's inline sixes delivered silky smoothness American engines couldn't match. Mercedes-Benz had mastered the art of combining performance with sophistication. Cadillac needed something revolutionary to reclaim its position as America's premier luxury brand. The North Star project aimed to leapfrog the competition entirely. Chief Engineer Willem Viertman and his team set audacious goals. 300 horsepower from 4.6 liters, refinement that would make the engine nearly inaudible at idle, and manufacturing quality that could match German precision. They weren't just building another V8. They were creating Cadillac's technological flagship. The project consumed enormous resources over nearly a decade of development. Every component was engineered from scratch. The split crankcase aluminum block, the chain-driven dual overhead cam heads with four valves per cylinder, the variable valve timing system, and the sequential fuel injection. No existing GM technology was deemed sophisticated enough. By 1992, the North Star was finally ready for production. Initial versions produced 295 horsepower, respectable for the era, but the real achievement was refinement. The engine was so quiet that Cadillac had to install a starter interlock to prevent drivers from accidentally engaging the starter on a running engine. The Golden Age When the North Star made its debut in the 1993 Cadillac Alante, automotive journalists were stunned. Here was an American engine that could genuinely compete with the best Europe had to offer. Road tests consistently praised its smoothness, responsiveness, and sophisticated character. The accolades poured in immediately. Auto Week, Motor Week, Popular Science, Business Week, Automobile Magazine, and even Rolling Stone bestowed awards on North Star-equipped Cadillacs. The engine's combination of power and refinement was unlike anything previously produced by an American manufacturer. Technical specifications told only part of the story. The North Star featured a unique split crankcase design where the aluminum block divided along the center line of the main bearings, eliminating traditional bearing caps. Cast-in-place iron cylinder liners provided durability while maintaining the weight advantages of aluminum construction. The chain-driven overhead cams operated four valves per cylinder with direct-acting hydraulic lash adjusters. But the real magic was in the details. The variable valve timing system continuously adjusted cam timing throughout the RPM range. 
The sequential fuel injection system delivered precise fuel metering to each cylinder. The distributorless ignition provided perfect spark timing under all conditions. Even the intake manifold was revolutionary, constructed from thermoplastic material to reduce heat transfer and improve power. By 1995, two versions were available, the L37 high output variant producing 300 horsepower and the LD8 high torque version making 275 horsepower with improved low end response. Both engines redefined what American luxury performance could be. The North Star had achieved its primary objective. Cadillac finally possessed an engine sophisticated enough to compete globally. Technical brilliance. The North Star represented a quantum leap in American engine technology, incorporating innovations that wouldn't become commonplace until years later. Every aspect of its design reflected cutting-edge engineering solutions to fundamental challenges. The aluminum block construction utilized advanced metallurgy and casting techniques. The two-piece crankcase design allowed for precise bearing clearances while reducing overall weight by approximately 100 pounds compared to iron equivalents. The cast-in-place iron cylinder liners were bonded directly to the aluminum during the casting process, creating a seamless interface that eliminated the thermal expansion issues that plagued earlier aluminum engines. The cylinder heads were marvels of packaging efficiency. Each head contained two chain-driven camshafts operating 16 valves through direct-acting hydraulic lifters. The intake valves measured 33 millimeters, while exhaust valves were 29 millimeters, generous sizes that promoted excellent breathing characteristics. The combustion chambers were carefully shaped to promote efficient burn patterns and reduce emissions. Variable valve timing operated on both intake and exhaust sides, continuously adjusting cam timing based on engine operating conditions. This allowed the engine to optimize power delivery across the entire RPM range while maintaining excellent fuel economy and emissions compliance. Perhaps most impressively, the North Star was designed as an interference engine with extremely tight tolerances, demonstrating confidence in the precision manufacturing that went into every component. Challenges rise. By the late 1990s, disturbing reports began filtering in from service departments across the country. Early North Star engines were experiencing catastrophic coolant loss, often accompanied by white smoke from the exhaust and rapid overheating. The symptoms pointed to head gasket failure, but the reality was far more sinister. The problem wasn't the head gaskets themselves. It was the torque to yield head bolts that secured the aluminum heads to the aluminum block. These bolts were designed to stretch during installation, creating a permanent clamping force. But the combination of aluminum's thermal expansion characteristics and the fine thread pitch used in the bolt holes created a perfect storm of mechanical failure. Under repeated heating and cooling cycles, galvanic corrosion began eating away at the aluminum threads in the block. The stretched head bolts, already operating at their elastic limit, couldn't maintain proper clamping force as the threads deteriorated. Eventually, the bolts would strip completely out of the aluminum block, allowing the heads to lift and coolant to enter the cylinders. Repair shops quoted $4,000 to $6,000 for the job, often more than the entire vehicle's value. Making matters worse, many shops refused to work on North Star engines at all, knowing the labor-intensive repair process would tie up a lift for days. The automotive press began warning potential buyers and resale values plummeted. The engine that had once been Cadillac's crown jewel was becoming a liability that damaged the entire brand's reputation. The transition General Motors knew they had a crisis on their hands. The North Star's head bolt problem wasn't just affecting individual owners. It was destroying Cadillac's carefully rebuilt reputation for quality and reliability. The company that had spent billions developing its technological flagship was watching it become a cautionary tale. The engineering response came in phases, but each fix seemed to arrive years too late. In 2000, 
GM introduced longer head bolts in an attempt to provide more thread engagement. However, this didn't address the fundamental issue of thread deterioration in the aluminum block. The 2002 model year brought revised thread specifications with deeper bolt holes, but the damage to the North Star's reputation was already severe. The definitive fix finally arrived in 2004 when GM replaced the problematic torque-to-yield bolts with LS6 derived head bolts featuring coarser threads and improved material properties. These changes effectively eliminated the head bolt stripping issue, making the 2005 to 2011 North Star engines as reliable as any other aluminum V8. But by then, public perception had crystallized around the early engine's failures. Meanwhile, GM was developing replacement strategies. The LS small block family had proven that sophisticated performance didn't require complex overhead cam systems. The LS1 in the Corvette produced more power than the North Star, while maintaining the simplicity and reliability that had made Chevrolet's small block legendary. Even more damaging to the North Star's future, the LS6 delivered supercar-level performance with proven durability. Cadillac's product planners began questioning whether the complexity and cost of dual overhead cam engines were justified. The LS family offered easier packaging, lower manufacturing costs, superior reliability, and ultimately better performance. The writing was clearly on the wall, the future belonged to evolved pushrod technology, not complex European-inspired designs. Production of the North Star family ended in July 2011 after an 18-year run. The final cars equipped with North Star engines, the Cadillac DTS, Buick Lucerne, and Cadillac STS, rolled off assembly lines as automotive artifacts from an era when complexity was mistaken for advancement. Legacy and Modern Reality Today, more than a decade after the last North Star rolled off the production line, the engine's legacy remains deeply controversial. Mention the North Star to any group of automotive enthusiasts, and you'll inevitably hear horror stories about catastrophic failures and astronomical repair bills. Yet the complete story is more nuanced than the reputation suggests. When properly maintained and repaired with the correct procedures, Later, North Star engines proved reasonably reliable. The 2005 to 2011 engines, in particular, suffered few of the problems that plagued earlier versions. But the damage to public confidence was irreversible. The used car market tells the story most clearly. Cadillacs equipped with North Star engines trade at significant discounts compared to pushrod powered equivalents. Many potential buyers simply refuse to consider any vehicle with a North Star, regardless of year or condition. This has created opportunities for knowledgeable enthusiasts who understand which versions to avoid and which represent genuine bargains. Aftermarket companies have developed comprehensive repair solutions. North Star Performance and similar specialists offer complete head bolt repair kits using time cert inserts and upgraded hardware. These repairs, when properly executed, eliminate the original failure mode and restore long-term reliability. However, the cost and complexity of these procedures mean they're economically viable only for enthusiasts committed to keeping their cars long-term. Perhaps most importantly, the North Star serves as a reminder that automotive excellence requires more than impressive specifications. Reliability, serviceability, and long-term durability matter as much as power and refinement. The most advanced engine in the world becomes worthless if owners can't afford to maintain it. The North Star proved that brilliance without reliability equals failure. It had everything except the one thing that mattered most, dependability. Have you experienced North Star ownership? Share your stories below and subscribe for more automotive legends and disasters.